Hi everyone, welcome. I want to go through how to do crow breaking and set up flaps on my uh, on your DX8. Um, I bought the Beast, this is the B60E, and I was trying to set up crow breaking and flaps, but I just couldn't find it anywhere. I couldn't find how to do it on YouTube or on Google. I've looked through some forums and I just couldn't really find any information that was um, very useful. Uh, I spent about an hour working it out, I finally have, so I just wanted to share it with you and hopefully make it a little bit easier for yourselves. But basically what I've got set up, um, I've got the flaps working on the roan with the elevator mixed in and then I've got crow raking again with the elevator kind of mixed in and I've um, set it up in a bit of a different way, I'm not sure if it's the correct way or not, but I guess uh, you know it does a job so it seems to be fine. So just so you guys can see. I've set it up on my um, flight mode uh, 0, 1 and 2, so flight mode 1, if I click on that, that drops the flaps and as you can see it puts a little bit of up elevator. If I put flight mode 2, that then opens um, crow braking. I can then drop back down to flight mode 1, uh, which is just flaps, and flight mode 0, which is um, nothing really, just normal flying. The ailerons obviously all work together, and even in flight mode 1, with flaps I could still use the ailerons and even in uh, flight mode 2 when I've got crow braking I could still use the ailerons absolutely fine and the elevator. So it uh, seems to uh, do the job. I want to start by um, showing you what receiver I have and the receiver that I've got at the moment in here just trying to focus on it it's, uh, not really showing it very well. It's uh, basically an AR8000. Let's see if I could get a bit closer. Here you go, it's AR8000. Yeah. And that's what I'm using. And on this plane, all the ailerons um, have their own servo. So if you have any kind of biplane or um, maybe a warbird that has uh, flaps and ailerons, you can do a lot of mixing, and I'm going to show you how I've done it. So the first thing I want to go through is what um, which ailerons go into what port in the receiver. So to start with the top right aileron will go into your aileron port and then your top left aileron will go into your auxiliary one port. Your bottom right aileron will go into your auxiliary two and your bottom left aileron will go into your gear. So top right goes into the aileron, top left goes into auxiliary 1, bottom right auxiliary 2 and bottom left goes into the gear. And that's how I've got it set up. So next thing is the transmitter. I'm trying to get it in focus here. Ah, here we go. So I've got it here set on my uh, spectrum. Now you can set it, you can have it set so that your flaps and your um, crow breaking are on two completely different switches but um, at the moment I've got it all set so it's all on um, my flight mode uh, 1 and flight mode 2 so that's why I have it set up on. Now the interesting interesting thing is I didn't actually use any flaps on here at all so when I went down I found that you can't really use the flap system uh, not on this setup anyway, when I used the flap system one ailer one went up and the other one went down so I couldn't actually use it so I had to try and find a different way so you don't need to use a flap system everything is done here in your mixing okay so what you need to do is you need to go to mix one what mix one is is um, aileron to right flap and you want 100% on both and switch just on. What basically that will do is that will give you um, all four ailerons moving together. So as you can see here, I've got full movement on all my ailerons. And that basically um, what this mix will do. Now what I've actually done um, is I've done something slightly different. Uh, with my flaps, I've used the auxiliary channel to set the angle of the flaps. So just by moving that, I can put more of an angle on the flaps or less, and that stays still. And then my flight mode uh, buttons, uh, 0, 1 and 2, they control the flaps going down and the 
uh, crow breaking with the top uh, ailerons going up but your degree is actually set through this switch okay so let's go into mix one so your second mix is to set up your um, crow breaking so what you want to do on mix two is you want your auxiliary going to um, the left flap and on minus 100 what that will do is when you click on your and then on the switch down the bottom here oh sorry and then on your on your switch button you want to have that on flight mode too and when you click on that what that will do is that will make your two bottom ailerons go down and that will be your first mix your uh, third mix again is to do with the crow breaking and in here you do your auxiliary three to plus a hundred um, on your left uh, aileron. What that will do is that will make both your top ailerons go up. So you've got your bottom ailerons going down and your top ailerons going up. And again, that is on flight mode two. So when you click on your flight mode two, you've got your bottom ailerons going down, which was in mix two. And then you've got your top ailerons going up in mix three. Oh. Now, on mix four is where you put your elevator. So you're, I'm mixing here my oh, mix four. I'm mixing my auxiliary again with the elevator, and I've only got minus ten percent. So the elevator goes up by ten percent, and I've got it so it goes up on flight mode one and flight mode two. So whether I select um, uh, flaps, which is going to be on my flight mode one, or whether I select uh, flight mode two, which is my crow breaking, the elevator is going to go up by ten percent. And then your final mix is your basically just your flaps, which is the same as uh, mix one, I think, it is, uh, mix two, which is exactly three to uh, left flap minus 100. That will make your flaps go down, and that is just set on switch one. Okay, and that will basically give you the mix. So when you put flight mode one, you're going to get this mix, which is your um, bottom ailerons both going down, acting as flaps. And that's really it, simple as that. You can actually change uh, the switches at the bottom and have your crow braking set, say, on the gear and um, your flaps set on um, your uh, mix switch here. But if you do that, you'll need a sixth mix uh, for the elevator. So you'll need to have two elevator mixes and assign each one to one of the switches. But if you're going to have both of them um, on your flight mode switches um, over to the left there, then you only need one elevator mix and then you have it assigned to uh, switch one and two or flight mode one and two. And that's basically it. So if you uh, found this video helpful, um, you know, like uh, my video, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Now, like I said, there might be other ways to do the mixes, but this was the best way I found and it seems to work really well um, and basically okay, you use your um, auxiliary 3 to control how much uh, crow breaking and flaps you get okay all right thank you for watching hope that was helpful